Hey guys, Bowler here, showing off some really cool Pac-Man tech that me and some other people in the community have found. I'll be starting off with some easier stuff for Pac-Man that mains from Smash 4 probably don't know. And then I'll get into some really advanced stuff for people who want to push the Pac-Man metagame. First off, is some really cool things to note about Pac-Man's trampoline. First of all, it's actually a decent edgeguarding tool, since enemies can actually interact with it. But besides that, it can also interact with both Fruit and Hydrant. You can use Hydrant off the trampoline for a really good edge guard. Also, you can just run up to a Hydrant and use Up B for a quick hitbox. As for Fruit, Pac-Man mids can be very creative with possible setups. A well-timed key or bell off a trampoline can net you a few kills. All these are fairly easy to do and I think they could really help you. Now on to some more advanced stuff. This next tech is called Recatching Fruit. This is the most important Pac-Man tech and is fundamentally important to learn and to be successful with Pac-Man. To do it, you simply throw a fruit and then immediately press the attack button after to re-grab it. The timing takes practice, but trust me, you can get it down consistently, even in lag. Why is it important? Because ordinarily, you can only throw the fruit in one direction straight in front of you. But by doing this, you can throw it in four different directions, and you can z-drop it. To z-drop, you simply press the grab button in the air. I've been able to get it about 9 out of 10 times with most of the fruit. I also recommend starting with the orange, since it seems to be the most consistent. Anyways, once you've mastered it, or at least been able to do it decently enough, you can start doing some more advanced tech. The first advanced tech is simple, but not well known. If you Z-drop a Galaga in the air, it leaves an active hitbox that does not disappear or move. This is really cool and potentially amazing tech. You could do some really cool edge guards and awesome combos with it. And I'd love to see what Pac-Man's do with it and get creative. But it's not overpowered or broken, because if your opponent simply hits it with a move, it moves away higher up and eventually gets out of the way. So it's useful, but definitely not broken. The next tech is potentially the best one out of all of these and is really, really good. I'll be calling it Infinite Fruit for the sake of simplicity. So before I explain it, there's a few things I have to clarify. First, you can only do this tech with Cherry, Strawberry, and Bell. To do this tech, you also need a stage that either has a slope, like Jungle Hijinx or Castle Siege, or has a wall, like Tower of Salvation or Yoshi Story. To do this tech, you just throw the fruit while facing the slope or the wall. This leaves a completely active fruit with a hitbox and does not go away. So basically, you can put a bell that stays on the ground forever with an active hitbox. This is really, really good and can lead to some amazing combos and setups. However, there is counterplay. If the opponent is good enough, they can also power shield it and use it against you. So it's not completely broken. Also note that the fruit will hit itself, so you can't have like 30 bells at once or anything. Lastly, I want to go over a brief recovery tip. A lot of people have noticed if you side B, you can't up B after. However, this isn't always the case. Instead of immediately jumping when recovering, you should save your jump, side B, then jump, then you can up B. It's the best possible recovery. Also, if you want to become a better Pac-Man main, I recommend joining the Pac-Man Discord. That's about all for this video. I hope you Pac-Man mains out there do well. Thanks for watching.